everyone, it's Fantasia and welcome to my Horse Ranch Plus Growing Together Let's Play. So if you saw my recent video, you know this is a continuation of my Growing Together Let's Play, but it's also a new Let's Play in a sense. It's kind of like a fresh start. So you guys haven't seen this family in a little while. If you guys want to know the full backstory, definitely check out episode one of Growing Together. We are just resuming from the last episode, but now they're in Chestnut Ridge. They're starting fresh. They want to live that farm life. And right now, Renly is holding Lakeland and they look freaking adorable. So Lakeland is going to be aging up into a toddler. So if you want to see her as an infant, those are in the beginning of Growing Together episodes. But yes, the whole playlist will be linked down below. I will go over their backstory. If you guys don't want to check that out, that's completely okay. So I will go through that as we kind of go along. But here is their farm and they currently have the welcome wagon so we have some visitors which we will get to but here's their farm and they're so happy they were able to afford this farm they don't have much money left but they are just so ecstatic they did not think they were going to get their dream farm and they have it so this is going to be their future horses barn and i absolutely love it because the father here raiden actually does have a teenage son and i thought this area would actually be perfect for him so originally i was going to have it only be a play area for a little lady but now I feel like it'll mostly be his son's area. So this is his son right here. He's wearing a face mask for whatever reason, but like that's usually not there. <laughs> So yeah, he's a teenager. So like I said, I do talk about this more in the beginning of Growing Together. However, Kasten has a different mom and Raiden was a teen dad and Kasten comes over on the weekends. He spends the night. He does a little stay over thing. So we will see him more, but he's self-assured he's a goofball and their family dynamic is a little bit difficult, but they do have amazing compatibility. So there's just, you know, some things there that are a little rocky. And then here is Faya, which this is Kasten's mom. So this is the woman that Raiden hooked up with as a teenager. There was nothing ever really there. They just have amazing compatibility, which was kind of like the only thing they had going for them. But like other than that, there was never really any chemistry there. So she has a stay-at-home mom, and she has cast in full time, you know, other than cast in coming over on the weekends. So here is the bottom floor of the barn. And this is where our horse will stay. We'll probably eventually have two horses actually because there is two areas for horses here. So yeah, we'll start off with one though. They do have a little pond over here. And then we have a little horse, which I will be naming in this episode. I told you guys to leave name suggestions. So there was some really cute names. So I'm going to be choosing one of your guys' names. So stay tuned for that. Then over here, we have our chickens. Let me actually go ahead and unpause this. You you guys can kind of see them moving around. <laughs> we have a white hen and then we have a brown rooster. So hoping that they do have some baby chicks. That's the plan there. And yeah, we also are going to name them on camera. So I'm going to choose one of your guys' name suggestions. Then over here, we have a gardening area for Raiden. So Raiden is now going to be working from home on the farm. Kasten is actually here right now. He's taking a bath. <laughs> but yes, Raiden loves, loves, loves gardening. That was actually his career, which he currently doesn't have anymore, of course. He He's going to do full time on the farm and he's just going to do tons of gardening every day. So these two are open. So I'll probably go ahead and plant some stuff there. And then I think he's also going to start this. We're going to have an insect farm. I had never really messed with this. So I thought maybe he'd enjoy that because he just loves being outdoors. We have a fire pit over here. Also, I do have a video titled starting a new let's play in the Sims 4. And that's where you can see where I got this house, the crater and everything. So definitely check that out. I'll go ahead and also link that down below. But in that video, I kind of plan out everything with you guys. So if you guys are curious in the process and everything you can find it there so then going into the house so first and foremost i absolutely adore this home i just love it i think it's gorgeous and starting on the bottom floor here you come in and you're just greeted with this nice mirror and you know some just lived in clutter all of that fun stuff here's the kitchen which is absolutely freaking stunning i didn't change anything in this house other than a couple things in lakeland's bedroom this is exactly how you'll get it pretty much if you go ahead and download this they don't have a tv and i think that's fitting since they're living that farm life but i absolutely love the living room and then we have a nice big bathroom with a bathtub and a shower that then upstairs, we have the bedroom for the parents and then just a little sitting area and stuff like that. Big mirrors. And then here is little Lakeland's bedroom. <laughs> so her room is the only room I changed. Like I said, I just added some toys, a toddler bed, and then this little um, food truck thing by Panda Sama. So we have a lot to go over in this episode. First of all, it's going to be little Lakeland's birthday. So she's going to be having her birthday. Also, of course, they are married, just kind of like going over things. And this is their first daughter. Of course, he was previously in a, not really a relationship, but as a 
teenager, of course, like I said, he hooked up with that girl, had a son, then he ended up meeting Renly, they fell in love, they're happily married, oh, <laughs> blow raspberry milestone unlocked, and yeah, they've had their first daughter, so he is in his early 30s, and then Renly is in her mid to late 20s, so I would say maybe like closer to late 20s now, or like almost, yeah, I would say she's like 27-ish, so I do see them having another kid, but anyways, we have the welcome wagon right now, so I think we're gonna go ahead and just meet our neighbors we should definitely do that so let's invite them in and okay so we have umber we have uh, roberto and then we have juniper and then of course here's Caston. <laughs> so i'm really glad that Caston is here for move-in day this is cute like they did just move in today and so i love that he's here are they leaving oh they said bye Okay, the welcome wagon is over. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I feel like we should go ahead and name our cows and chickens. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and name our cows. So your name is going to be Blossom. And huge thank you to Murphy the Mutt. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I just love that. I think it's so cute. And then for our white hen, let's go ahead and name you. And your name is going to be Bonnie. I think it's adorable. <laughs> So we're gonna name you Bonnie. And thank you so much to Lil Lil Girl. Thank you, thank you for your name suggestions. I love them. And then for our brown rooster, I just thought this one sounded super sassy and like your name is gonna be Baster. And like I don't know what it is about it, but this one comes from Mary Gamer. Thank you so so much. I can't even lie. It's like making me think of bastard and <laughs> and like I just think it's funny. <laughs> Maybe this chicken is a little bit of an asshole. I don't know. <laughs> That's literally what it's making me think of. So we have a Baster. Wait, are all their names starting with B? <gasps> Bonnie? And then the cow's Blossom, right? Wait. <gasps> oh, I love that. That's so cute. <gasps> Should we have... Okay, we'll see. I don't know for sure. But I don't. we, we might have a whole farm full of B names because I kind of like that idea. That would be really freaking cute. So yeah, like I said, we have a lot to cover in this episode. So we have our farm animals named and why you leave her on the floor like this let's go ahead and give her some love it is her birthday so we're gonna be aging her up let's go ahead <gasps> okay before we do though let's just practice standing some more because i think that would be really cute and look at her already living that farm life oh we love this for you as you just like hurt your finger oh and we have like stuff left but i love this for her you guys this family i feel like was just meant to be on the farm like the fact and she is already out here doing this. Like, this is such a perfect activity. I love this for you. She's going to enjoy her cross-stitching and we're going to do some practicing sitting up. And yeah, then she's going to have her little birthday party. I think we're just going to invite over the grandparents. I also didn't really introduce them. So if you guys are already familiar, familiar with this Let's Play, you know them. Okay, so this is Renly's mom and then Royer is Raiden's dad. But there's one grandparent from each parent for like Lakeland. So basically, Renly's dad passed away and then Raiden's mom passed away, if that makes sense. Let's go ahead and practice standing. Oh my goodness. You can do it. Oh, wait, I wanted to get a photo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love, love, love this interaction. I think it's so cute. Let's do it again. But yeah, we're going to be aging her up because I think it just fits. We're also going to be getting baby sheep and baby goats and... Yeah, I just think it makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's practice standing again. We can also practice crawling. I think also that's a good thing to do because we haven't really done that. I feel like we should work on that. <laughs> so sadly, she's probably not going to learn these things. Did you just... Oh, I thought you pooped yourself, but you didn't. We're good. <laughs> She's probably not going to learn these things, but just for the continuation of this Let's Play, it only makes sense, I feel like. And obviously moving takes time, so I do feel like there's a little bit of a time jump. And yeah, I think it makes sense to just kind of have her. Oh, I think it just makes sense to have her be a toddler by now. You got this. Look at you go. Oh my god, I gotta say. It's like infants, I just, I can't. <laughs> Look at you. You are like kind of uh yeah you're doing it so what we're gonna do is get a cake made we're not gonna have this like big birthday party you know she's really young and i feel like this is like a very family let's play so i think we're just gonna invite over the grandparents pretty much and then um you know Caston's already here so what we're gonna do is go ahead and i guess we can bake 
and let's do cakes and cheesecakes and we'll just do a chocolate cake so she's gonna go ahead and make that oh she's talking to Kasten right now oh look at them you guys I love this okay also we have these that I'm gonna go ahead and put in the fridge yes you're gonna get some cake you're gonna get some cake also we do need a potty for her when she ages up but she's a little grumpy and honestly I'm just gonna cheat this a little bit because because I just want her to be happy for her birthday. It's okay. It's okay. Like, we already have a toddler bed. Like, there's nowhere for her to really sleep. Um, because I'm just, you know, I kind of planned it out for her to just age up right away. So, make this cake, and then you go ahead and get your parents over here. So, well, well, yeah, parents, because one of them is mother-in-law. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get them both over here. So, invite to current lot. We'll also probably do stayovers a lot. And, like I said, up here is gonna be like Kasten's area we don't need to have it ready until the weekend because he does just stay on the weekends but yeah I thought this would be cute and comment down below then since we have a little bit of time to kind of prepare this um I'm gonna have some areas for Lakeland I don't think she's gonna come up here much until she's like a kid though so like not a big deal I don't even know if we'll live here when she's a kid because we might have another child I don't know like they want to have another kid but also like they definitely still have time but depending on like when they want to do that I don't know if they'll end up just having one kid um because like he's already in his 30s um but he still has lots of time so like I don't know this is sims we definitely have the time oh you're leaving I wanted you to be here for the little birthday gathering I mean honestly it'll probably just be like hectic anyway so like <laughs> it's not that big of a deal um okay let's get you over here we're gonna add birthday candles have a strict family dynamic I mean um sure yeah, the storyline can kind of change there. Okay, so let's have Lakeland about the candles. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she's going to be. Oh, you're feeding her. The last feeding. <laughs> I can't believe. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, first, change her into her correct clothes. I don't know what she's wearing right now, actually. Okay, so, oh my gosh, she is cheering. <laughs> so she'll definitely have like a full-blown birthday party as a toddler, but I just thought for this one. Probably don't need to do that. Okay, wait, I want to see you blow them out. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, wait, this is actually so cute. Where are your eyelashes? I don't know. Aw, this is a cute photo with him in the back. <laughs> How adorable. <laughs> Aww. Oh my gosh, she even spits. That it was so cute. You guys, she's going to be a toddler. What the heck? All right, so I do have the extra trait slot thing. So I think she would be... I do really see her as like a little charmer. And then I feel like... I see her as a couple things. Like I see her as clingy, but also inquisitive. I think maybe inquisitive because now that we're living on the farm, I feel like she would be a little explorer. So let's give her that. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're gonna definitely... Oh my goodness. Okay, your outfit right now. This, this, I really want a photo, but <laughs> that's not gonna happen. We have a floating cookie and she's already dancing. How cute is this? Okay, let's jump into Curtis then. Okay, so this is actually her every day. So let's go ahead. Oh, wait, I like that she has the birthmark. Hang on. Okay, I think we're gonna, I just wanna stick with like, you know, the basic toddler eyebrows. Oh, wait, I just removed. Okay, let's just put one back on. Hold on. She needs a birthmark. Okay, which one does she have? Nope, nope that one what color should we do should we do that one or i feel like hers would be like this or like this or something or maybe that one okay we're gonna go for that one and then let's go ahead and um i don't think we need those um let's give her some eyelashes and for her skin details she is so cute like stop <laughs> She really did age up cute. Okay, that's for the infants. I feel like it like makes her look super young. So I think we'll go with this one and let's do all little freckles. I don't know if that makes sense for her to have. We're just going to go for that. Oh, by the way, I kept forgetting to say this in the when it was just growing together. I don't know if I ended up saying it, but the mother's hair is naturally her color. So that's why Lakeland has light brown hair. Let me go ahead and actually make her eyebrows lighter too then. She dyes her hair. It's naturally the same color as hers. So this is cute. Do we do that? Or like, are we, we could do little like farm girl hair. Look how much older she looks. I seriously, notice such a difference of like with infants and toddlers to be honest like I notice such a difference also this is really really cute I don't know what I want to do like all of these are super adorable like even that <laughs> do you see how cute she looks wait um we might 
totally not give her a farm girl hair because, well, this is really cute too. And it's like kind of farm girl. It's just like giving that vibe because of the braids and stuff. Okay. Maybe we go for that then. Yeah. We're going to go for that one. That's really cute. Okay. And then do we want to give her like the rosy cheeks? That's for the infants. Okay. Cute. And then for her outfit, um, I mean, okay, there is some stuff from Cottage Living that I feel like goes with this because we really didn't get much, which definitely sucks. But like, thankfully, if you do have Cottage Living, you will have some options, but it just kind of sucks that I feel like you need to buy that pack to get some farm looking stuff. But yeah, they do get a shirt. I mean, I could do the new shirt, but I just feel like this is even better. Yeah, like they get this. Well, she can have two outfits. Okay, I think I am gonna go ahead and go with what I just had her in. This is just like, it's too cute to not. <laughs> <laughs> do we want like the full blown pink or do we want this one? I feel like this is kind of going with her room, isn't it? So I think I'll go with that. Just kind of like a peachy color. And as for shoes, these ones honestly go with it really well. And I think that's adorable for the farm. <laughs> that is so cute. So let's give her one more and then we'll do the top that comes with horse ranch. So as for this one, I definitely want to go with, oh, okay. Yeah, we have to do the, this one with the animals. <laughs> That's so cute. And then do we want to do the pants? I know they're like very extra, but like that's so fitting. <laughs> like it's definitely fitting. Oh my gosh. How cute. Um, I don't know which one. Okay. I really like the white ones. I think actually didn't really know which ones I'd like, but yeah, I feel like the white ones are probably the best bet. Okay. We'll go for that. And then don't they have little cowboy boots? Yes, we do get these boots here, but I feel like you can't even see them. Like, to be honest, so like, I don't know how much point they have, but we'll put them on her. And so those are going to be her two outfits. And then as for these outfits, I think I'm just going to quickly do them off camera. Oh my God. I totally forgot about this. The girls do get this. So I guess we can give her this for the hot weather. I wanted to make sure I kind of like pick back up for a minute here to just show you guys that I'm giving her this because yeah, I totally almost forgot. Okay. And then for her cold weather, this is so cute. It's giving fall vibes and just like very farm vibes also. So I feel like it's perfect. So of course you guys already saw her two everyday outfits and then here is her formal we have her sleepwear and then we have her um party wear so wear and then her um hot weather and cold weather as you guys saw so there is lakeland's little look i think she is so cute okay so here she is looking cute as ever oh wait why do you still have this cookie I just want to know. Did I not take that off of her? Look how cute she is. Oh my god. Once again, we load back in and she just looks so cute. She looks so grown up. There really is a huge difference between infants and toddlers. And I feel like some people don't realize. Like I remember some people feeling like they were similar size. Oh my god, no. Like she looks so grown up. Oh my goodness. Our baby is gone. <laughs> Like literally, oh my goodness. I also changed her teeth to like the teeth where like they're not all grown in. But anyways, now that Lakeland is officially a toddler, she can interact with the farm animals. And you know what that means we're doing next? We need to get mini sheep and mini goats and our horse. So that is what we're gonna be doing for the rest of this episode. So I definitely think Raiden would wanna be the one who does this just because like he's the one who's like so extra proud of this farm and like it's his job now and everything. Renly helps and everything but he does most of the work um, just because it's his lifestyle. Like he loves this. Like he literally was a gardener for a living and being on a farm was even more of his dream. Let's go ahead and hire a service. Oh no, wait, we don't want to do this. What are we talking about? <laughs> Well, actually, we might get a ranch hand, but no, that's not what we want to do. We want to call the ranch animal exchange and we want to go ahead and rescue a horse or should we get our goats first? The mini sheeping goats. Yeah, let's do that first. Okay, so um, we're just going to start off with one mini goat and one mini sheep. So hmm, I don't know what I want. A Dalmatian mini sheep is really freaking cute. So I think we got to get that one. And then the white belt mini goat is really cute. And then um, this one, the Kim. Camoes? I can't, that's not how you say that. <laughs> I don't know, but which one do I want? I don't know which one. Uh, I think we're going to get the other one. Yeah. Okay. Those are going to be our options. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we officially have those in our inventory. So let's go ahead. I like how I'm saying have those in our inventory, but let's go ahead and go outside. You can also just click place animal, but anyways, let's go ahead and place in the world and place in the world. Yay. Oh my goodness. Cute. Okay, so we gotta give you guys some attention. 
Uh, let's go ahead and talk about minimal mineral cravings and then talk about cotton candy life. Sure. And then let's go back to the ranch exchange and then we're going to rescue a horse, which if there's a baby, if there's a foal, we're definitely getting a foal. Um, oh yeah, we got to get that potty. We have so many things we got to do. What are you doing? Um, check toddler. Okay. <laughs> what a good dad. That's actually cute. I don't know what he's doing with her though. Oh, you're going to put her to bed. I mean, it's only six. She is really tired though, actually. Yeah, she can go to bed for the night. Um, hopefully she'll sleep through the night. There we go. She is going to sleep. Oh, do I need auto lights on? Um, auto lights, all lights. Okay. All right. We're going to adopt or rescue a horse. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting. So rescuing a horse means, oh, you still didn't do that with the sheep. Rescuing a horse means that they're going to have some negative stuff going on. Why do you need to like come out here? I'm confused. Who are you? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Wait. So, okay, there's foals. Oh my goodness. So, we have two foals. We're definitely going to get a foal. So, we have Bronco and Naysayer. Excuse me. <laughs> We're going to be changing the name, but like, why do I also love that name? You are aggressive, intelligent, and energetic. And then you're intelligent, fearful, and aggressive. You got two traits that might be a little difficult, but like, I really want you. You look freaking majestic. <laughs> like having a white horse would be so beautiful, but like, I don't know. I am really conflicted. It's tempting to get both of them because they're both opposite genders. So like, it would be interesting, but like, I also feel like it's going to be too much to get both. So then I'm like, okay, which one do I want first? Just in case one of these horses might not be there when I come back, but there might be another baby. So in that sense, I think we're going to get this one. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. So guys, go ahead and comment name suggestions down below because I'm definitely going to change it. Also, you guys can comment names for the mini sheep and mini goat. I think some of you guys may have left some, but go ahead and comment some more and we can do that. So you're going to go and get the little baby full. I'm so excited. Look at these little mini sheep and mini goats just like just jumping around. That's so funny. <laughs> Aww. Oh my goodness. So they kind of just roam everywhere. Like they'll literally be going through the fences as they wish. So yeah. Oh my goodness, you guys. So like I said, go ahead and comment names. I'm going to take the last name away just because I don't know. I never really give the animals last names. I'm so curious about your guys' suggestions. Let me actually show you guys exactly what this little cutie looks like. So you guys can like better think of a name. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Look at you. You're so precious. Okay, so this is gonna be a challenge uh, because of the traits. So uh, yeah, I don't know how that's gonna go. So as we already went over, let me just open this up though. Intelligent, fearful, aggressive. The aggressive is probably gonna be the most challenging. I feel like fearful won't be too bad. So we're gonna have to see how that goes, but we're gonna get to know this little cutie in the next episode. So I hope you guys are excited, but we're gonna be wrapping this up and it's starting to, you know, be the evening time anyways. So, oh my goodness, look. Oh my goodness, he he's in dreamland. Guys, this shot, oh, this is literally what Raiden's life was meant to be. He just, he looks like he's right at home. I love this for him. But you guys, I'm gonna wrap this up here. We need name suggestions for the full mini sheep and the mini goat. Oh, and let's have them all be bee names because I just think that'd be so cute now that the um, cow and the chickens are both bee names. I just think that would be adorable. You can comment like other names as well. But if you do think of a cute bee name, like, I mean, even Buttercup would suit this horse. I think that would be really cute. But yeah, any bee names would be so so adorable. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.